Uh, hi, my name is Kerry Amani, and I'm here at Startmark came for debate. I really love debate because it gives me an opportunity to argue out my points in a logical manner. And I'd pass the mic to my friend here, and he can introduce himself. Um, good afternoon. My name is Chester Bulinda, a student leader at Nova Pioneer. And I'm here to say that I love debate because it gives you a voice and a chance to express yourself in different ways that other uh, platforms can't really give you the chance to. Okay. And yes, and so one thing we'd like to change if we're given the power, if we're given the power to would be the Nairobi River. This is something that we have, we see every single day, but nothing's being done to change, change it. A long time ago, the same river that people complain about, it's smelling or looking like sewage basically, used to be clean enough to fish from, to shower, to even drink. But this has changed, and the efforts that are, the efforts in course that are being done to control this are not making sense. People go for walks and runs, talking about the environment. However, in these same walks and runs, millions of plastic bottles that are carried in these runs are thrown to the same river that we're trying to fight for. So, if I was given the chance, I would do something about that. Um, thank you for that. Uh, well put together speech. I would like to say the same because Nairobi River is one of the most essential sources of water back then. But now it has become a very polluted, very degraded sort of area. It has become like a sewer line where people just... Uh, it's a place where people throw away their things, discard their trash, and I don't think that's right. And we should do something about that issue. We should solve and tackle that problem. So that's why I'm very passionate about the Nairobi River and why we should come together as a community to solve this issue. Thank you.